and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Teemo Wayfinder. Going back to one of my old school favorites, going with Teemo and Kinku Wayfinder. One of the very first meme tier decks of us playing back in like February. But this this is a newer updated version. This is from another streamer. Um, the person that donated for it said it was from another streamer. Maybe maybe Grappler, I, th I think. I'm not sure, but uh, where this specific list came from. But um, we're going to be playing a Lee Sin deck now. Like we're going to be having Lee Sin in this. Back in the day, back whenever Karma was awesome, I you know used to play this with Karma. And uh, to, to be able to have like leveled up Karma be giving them like um, double the mushroom clouds and stuff like that. Um, uh, but we're, we're going with uh, Lee Sin because we got lots of spells in here. Um, go with our dragons, you know, Claws of the Dragon, Eye of the Dragon, Shadow Assassin. Just a 1-2, so not being that great, not, not doing that much in combat. Um, but Shadow Assassin's a good blocker. We get to retreat and recall. That's, that's awesome with Shadow Assassin to be able to put it back in. To be able to redraw a card and also get our two spells for our Lee Sin and our different dragon cards. We've got plenty of key guardians to help protect Teemo and uh, Lee Sin and, and anything else um, that we need. And of course, Dawn and Dusk, because Dawn and Dusk with Teemo is amazing. I guess I didn't really talk about the Allegiance part. So we're trying to play all the Ionia cards possible because we want to hit our Allegiance ability. So Kinku Wayfinder is going to be a big part of our, of our deck. We need to make sure we have two Teemos in play and then uh, have our Wayfinder play. They will go put two Teemos, or two Teemos in our deck, play the Wayfinder, and then we'll get two Teemos uh, into play. So that's, this is probably the most important card whenever we're mulliganing, look for Wayfinder. They can put in the Teemos, and then we want to dawn and dusk the Teemos. Um, I'm sad that there is no uh, Puffcat Peddler. You know, big fan of Puffcat Peddler, especially in a spell-heavy deck like this. Getting them all those puff caps, I think that makes the Teemo even better. But we're going to see how that is. Like, I, I've usually played this with those nine um, PNC cards, Teemo, Chumpwump, Peddler, but maybe that's too much. So we'll see how Shadow Assassin does instead of Peddler. All right, let's, let's play our games. It is meme tier Monday, so we're going to just be playing in normal, but we're still going to be playing our five games if we are 4-0. Like we were with the Sea Monsters and Dragons. That deck was really sweet. Y'all should check that one out. If you're watching this on YouTube, you should go back and check that out that video too. But if we're 4-0, then we'll head on over to Ranked for our very last game. To give it the real test. You feel like Wayfinder misses too much, and so there's not room for Peddler? Yeah, sometimes you just gotta live with the Wayfinder misses. Um... Whenever I was playing this way back in the day, I had, I had, I think I started with like it being 2020, like basically half PNZ, half Ionia, and it would just be, I would hit, I'd hit Wayfinder half of the time, and I'd just understand that it'd only be hitting it half of the time, um, and then you know it went down to probably like, like 12, 9 to 12 PNZ cards, because I wanted Mystic Shot and Thermogenic Beam, and you know I wanted removal like that and play more of a control deck. All right, so Trundle, Aurelian Soul. Um, I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing. I don't feel like I need Key Guardian. Um, kind of don't really love these cards. Like we have, I guess I'm going to just keep Lee Sin and Deep Meditation. I should probably just be keeping D Key Guardian. I want to find Wayfinder. That's what I want to find. Eye of the Dragon is a card that I would normally be keeping most of the time, but not against, like, Trundle or Rillian Soul is just a deck that's going to be going so big and just didn't feel like that card would be necessary because they'll just go way, way bigger than Eye of the Dragon. So pretty awkward finding all of our cards to have four, like, all of our cards having four, being four mana here, just finding only Chump Wumps to go with Lee Sin. Pretty awkward that we just drew three chump bumps. That's how it goes. Force is meaningless without skill. All right, so how are we going to do this? Make way for trolls! 
All right, I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give the Chump Wump challenger. And then pump up Lee Sin. Trump Wump challenge here, Lee Sin challenge here. Awesome. That worked out pretty well. That is true, the re retreat does work with Kiku Wayfinder, being able to put that back in your hand if you miss. Good call. Another key guardian. Conflict is all in the mind. I will not hold back. I don't know what that what that GG thing was. I don't know if the opponent's saying it's the game's already over. So four spells. I want to level up Lee Sin. No, Timo! Oh, I didn't notice I had ten. Uh, that's my bad, Timo. That is quite sad. That is quite sad. I'll see this through. I will not hold back. My lands need me. So that's six. That is quite sad. My lands need me. Center your spirit. Yeah, that that's my plan for next turn is like the dawn and dusk on the level of Lee Sin. Yeah, that does sound really that does sound pretty awesome. Um I assume we have a couple Will of Ionias in here, right? Nope, no Will of Ionia. While we're playing three. While we're playing three Concussive Palm and no Will of Ionia. Will of Ionia is probably a better card, isn't it? Like, we need to just be able to bounce this Infinite Mind Splitter. I got ways to find me mushrooms. The barrier doesn't matter because the Tark has the Tri Bliss. I'll knock him down. But they're not not attacking with Tark has. I will not hold back. Oh, that's a harvest right there. Conflict is all in the mind. You've been in my thoughts. Oh, Lee, you always did think too much. That's true. Retreat can rebuy Palm. We can't get rid of anything. Think I'm still like a yodel in uniform. Dawn and Dusk on the stunned Lee Sin does not work. Claws. That is not a good idea. Nothing's tougher than a troll. Hold still. You need to clear out room. Killing them. Hey, yes. I will not hold back. Conflict is all in the mind. So we got them thirty puff caps because of um, because of our chump lumps. 
I fight with my spirit, not my fists. Our enemies would be foolish to underestimate you. Yeah, we need to have... Okay, we need to find a retreat for Lee. Snow Sunder, huh? Good as bone shiver! Breathe in, breathe out. Like, our board doesn't... That's... <laughs> Our board doesn't, like, we don't have enough room for, like, those Eye of the Dragons and, and everything. And then we're supposed to Dawn and Dusk and Wayfinder. We don't have enough room for any of this stuff. One smack will do. You cannot escape. I'll give me some room. We at least draw a new lease in now. Yeah, that's what, so my plan is to Wayfinder and then have Deny back up. Stop healing your Nexus so much. We have the Trickster, of course, that can block. So they do have two Celestial, or like, they can do the whole. Like, if you behold a celestial card kind of stuff, they can do all that now. Another day in the field. I'll pick him, you plan him, kid. Just need to get rid of all this stuff in hand. It's another kind of bad part about Concussive Palm being that 3-2 body. It's just, it's just another card that clogs up space. All right, that Lee Sin draw was very good. So I kind of want them to have like the nine mana obliterate two things or something. Yeah, eight mana, something that costs a ton of mana. For us to deny, that turns on the challenge with Lee Sin now. I'll see this through. Strike firm. Yeah, I never know what hit us. Prepare yourself. Within my grasp. I don't know. I guess you can challenge over here. All right, this could work. Yes. Teemo strikes twice. Double, double, go from 25 to 100. Now each card has approximately four puff caps. Pretty easy math there. All right, this could work. That worked out really well. That was a great Lee Sin draw. Our, our last two draws, Deny Lee Sin, were perfect. What's up, Noctis? Yeah, the so we're gonna have to Noctis tomorrow is going to be a, the next balance patch update where there could be some cards that are gonna be changing. That's gonna happen tomorrow. Uh, at least that's gonna be announced tomorrow and then it'll be implemented on Wednesday. So right now, uh, you know, it's so it's hard to like recommend decks right now because you know things may change tomorrow. Um, But besides that, uh, that's too bad. Get out here. Yeah, that's too bad. All right, so I'm gonna need a concussive palm this trundle, aren't I? They brave or stupid. No, okay. I'll knock them dead. Uh, besides that, yeah, check out Mobilitics there. It has a really good good page of all sorts of stats if you want to check out some decks. The very top one, um, and what I would probably recommend is Misfortune at Gangplank with a bunch of burn. Yeah, so we want to block, block, clear up some space. We need to retreat our Lee Sin because... The Tarkaz takes out Barrier, so Lee Sin would be dying. A wise retreat. Oh, I should I should have done the Tail of the Dragon. I should have done the Retreat first and then Tail of the Dragon, so maybe we wouldn't get this 3-2. So I don't really want that 3-2. 
Extend your sense. Oh well. The dragon himself. I'd rather have the open space for Dawn and Dusk, but honestly, we probably have to just go to straight to combat. We probably won't be able to play Dawn and Dusk. With celestial cards that can obliterate. Unless we draw Deny. If we draw Deny, we can Dawn and Dusk. Oh no, we can't even Dawn and Dusk because the that draggling. Man, needed to block with that Eye of the Dragon. Yeah, Sonic Wave was a great draw. Um, let's have... Who wants to be a challenger? I guess... You? No. You, Our enemies cannot hide. <clears throat> you can challenge. Alright, so you attack, you attack, you attack, you attack. You attack. Alright, you're doing this. You're doing that. You're doing that. Um... Who's getting the plus two? I think... Oh, Spell Shield! I forgot about Spell Shield. Yuck. Alright, I guess you, then. Okay. Well, I didn't get to do the, the resonating strike here. I ran out of time. But I like them being at one. I kind of don't really mind not casting the resonating strike either because having the resonating right, eh, having this available was going to be good against like frostbite, right? So like if they would have had frostbite cards in hand and they could frostbite Teemo, Lisa, and that kind of stuff, then I'd be able to resonating strike afterwards in response to that to make sure we still got to hit. Um, so I'm honestly just fine with not casting this resonating strike and opening opening myself up to. Uh, frostbite, because this game should still just be over. I fight with my spirits, not my fists. Um, 23 cards left, 320 puff caps. We got the hits in. Alright, yeah, mushroom prediction time. Annie says six. What do y'all think? How many are they going to draw? I'm going to say they are going to draw... Um... I'm gonna guess 12. I'm gonna just double yours up. Oh, Async said 12. We got a couple of 14s. Hard draw at one. We'll have to see. It's just one Teemo against Aurelian Soul and all these Celestials and everything. Can one Teemo handle it? All right, how many puff caps? Hopefully one. Now they'll pay attention. Twelve! That's that's the number I called. I called twelve. Victory called it. The we along the way. Yeah. The no champions. The the deny and then the lease in back to back. Those were the two perfect draws that really helped us win that game. And then the, the Sonic Wave was was really nice too at the end, but that wasn't probably not necessary. All right, well, I'm going to keep Teemo, and we'll have Retreat to protect Teemo. Um, I'm just going to keep this hand. Key Guardian, I don't know. Say, after we put Teemo back in our hand, maybe. I'm not going to play Teemo on turn one because of Thermogenic Beam. Oh, which I guess that means I should have gone I should have gone Key Guardian on turn two. I was just thinking I'll have Retreat to protect it, but yeah, I should have just Key Guardian. That's all right, we got more mushrooms. Cool. Excuse me? You cannot escape. And of course, keeping uh, my retreat to protect my Teemo. Don't care too much about this 3-3. Three, three. Make it a 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, it looks like we're playing against the Poro deck. 
Yeah, it could be Von Yip with Poros. Maybe... No, I mean, no probably not Von Yip. No, no, they're not going to be a Von Yip deck. I'm not sure exactly what PNZ... PNZ, you have the elusive Poro. So I guess that's possible. You, okay, yeah, y'all think... Y'all are calling Von Yip? Well, I'll be surprised. If it is Von Yip, y'all are, are correct. Challenger? Uh-uh. No. No Challenger. Challenger's bad. I just don't have another spell that I want to play right now. I'm going to be saving Deep Meditation. I don't really want to play Sonic Wave. Um, as far as getting a, a second spell out. More Teemos. Darn. never know what hit him. Within my grasp. I guess I, I guess I should be challenging their challenger, but I wanted to get this out of their hand, but I guess I should be challenging their challenger, shouldn't I? Yeah, I mean my claws are just trading with the eager apprentices. I'm just I don't want to clear up room. Never 4-4 four, four is not scary. Alright, so I I should have done the plus one plus zero. I guess I'm protecting against Poro Snacks, right? Like that's what I'm doing. Safety first. No. Protecting the Poro Snacks. So now we can have our Dawn and Dusk and we have more Teemos. Or our Wayfinder, we can get more Teemos. We got those three twos out, out of the way. Well, that's a problem. Okay, chump bump's better than anything we've drawn in a little while. Aha. As the dragon wills. Or we have Lee Sin. Force is meaningless without skill. A pleasure to see you, Master. And these are gonna be some really big poros. All right, gonna stun one elusive Poro. Conflict is all in the mind. And then that's going to give me the challenger for the other one. Yourself. We'll hit here, we'll attack with you, and that's it. Lee Sin was perfect. We needed that Lee Sin. For Ooh, quite a collection. It's going to make this much more manageable having that Lee Sin. So many snacks. Let's 
Spell Shield. How do I get rid of Spell Shield? I guess I don't. So I need I need one more mana. I need to retreat one of these and then cast two Concussive Palms. That's ten mana. I have nine mana. That's pretty cool, though. Gotta give it to my opponent getting a 41-37 Fluff to the Poros. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. We still survive. So can't be mad at a 41 power overwhelm. Heart of the Fluffed. This is a this deck's a little different. This is a really weird hand. I mean, our Eye of the Dragons are fine, I guess. Everything in here is fine, I guess. Nothing super exciting. All right, Kinku Wayfinder is now exciting. No, if you recall, Heart of the Fluffed, it does not retain its stats, so it is. Very, very bad against recall. Your lesson begins. We'll play another Eye of the Dragon, but then we're kind of wasting our mana. Alright, well, Wayfinder hit. We've only drawn one PNZ card this whole time. You know what? I'm gonna play this chump one first. Oh, I guess I'm one mana short. It's a little weird, they're still attacking. The dragon binds us. I'm one mana short of going Wayfinder. Oh, I guess two Mushroom Clouds aren't going to level up Teemo anyway. We'd have to... Yeah, two Mushroom Clouds doesn't level us up anyway. So we can't have leveled up Teemo hitting this turn. So do I want to wait till next turn for Wayfinder then? Maybe. Maybe we'll just wait till next turn. And then just play another Chump Lump. Yeah, let's just wait. I want to make sure that my Teemos are 2 twos. Winter take you. All right, well, I'm glad we're waiting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Fight or die. <laughs> this is a deck filled with three ones. They're probably not going to be an avalanche deck with all these three ones. TK! Hey TK, thank you so much for keeping that sub going. Eight months. Thank you, thank you so much. I can't say that enough. I really appreciate it. And that's our fourth sub of the day as well. Thanks, TK. So I'm gonna go with the Eye of the Dragon. The spirit gives to those who listen. Strength above all. This is quite scary. Why is that thing attacking first? Ready yourself. Not exactly sure why that thing's attacking first. So the real question is, do I want to be greedy and, and go look for the other one? Or do I want to just hit him first? I'm going to be greedy. We're having fun today. Yes, let's get, let's get greedy. Yeah. 
so they're gonna start with 20 puff caps. And then we'll double that up to 40, double that up to 80, double that up to 160. Let's go, Team O. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> I get 160 puff caps. Don't have any room for the draggling. What is gained when you return malevolence? How many are we drawn? Four. Four is not that many. Good concussive palm. Bring them back, Death by my hand. It will be done. I'll take care of this. Your lesson begins. If the stun doesn't work, we are dead. All right, awesome. All right, how many we drawn this time? It's, a, it's like an average of five puff caps each turn. Drew seven. No, that means that we're gonna kill them. Well, that's too bad. I guess they, yeah, they, they kill me with the decimates, so I guess we need to. I wanted them to go to and draw another card. We're not gonna be able to let them draw another card. <laughs> no. Oh, I should have done the math of how many puff caps we're actually giving them. Okay, so they had, what, 149? So after the first one hit, they had 298. Right? And so then it was going to go from 298 to... So basically 300 to 600 to 1200. So we're going to give them about about 1200. We have one with Cloud Drinker Shrooms before. We've done that. Playing against Casino. Casino's a cool deck. I love Chump Wump, but I'm not sure if I'm supposed to keep two Chump Wumps in hand. The answer is probably no, but I do love Chump Wump. I don't want my Teemo to die. What are they going to have that's going to kill my Teemo? They're going to be playing like Parlay. Could I make it rain? I'm glad we drew the retreat. Basically, I wanted to see. I wanted to wait till the second turn and see if we drew a key guardian. Um, but yeah, now having retreat makes that better. We play in build rules, son. So they had one of those two cards on turn one, and they didn't want to play it on turn one. Most likely the pool shark. Let's get to it. I'm just gonna cast you. We have mana that's gonna go away anyway. Tis a fine day for murder. Plenty still to go round. No, not Poro Cannon. Those block my Teemos. Ugh. Why do we keep playing against these decks that block my Teemos? Yeah, I'm just gonna play this. I do need to cast this as the champion spell with the Mushroom Cloud to shuffle this back into the deck so that I get to get it back with um, so I get to get it back with the Wayfinder. Who says I don't see? So that's two spells for the deep meditation. Lady luck is smiling. You act, but do not see. Uh, excuse you. Curses. Maybe two losses to Poro Cannon, or, or you know, just elusive Poros. More for 
Come on, Lee Sin. Yeah, draw all those cards. Draw all those cards with all those puff caps. Stop drawing Teemo. More for my so they have all these fleeting cards they want to get rid of. Double up 21 puff caps. Two Teemos down. Please don't kill the other Teemo. I, like I wish we had like a counter for copies that we could get more Teemos into our deck, like where this other Wayfinder can pull out more Teemos, but that's just our only other last Teemo. <laughs> Alright, so they didn't burn through. Now, this game's yeah, they got rid of all the cards that they had with the uh, ticket card, all the fleeting cards. Alright, so now, you know, we have put a good amount of puff caps on them, and this casino deck does draw a whole lot of cards. And so each card that they draw will be. Soak it in. Each card they draw, you know, like, will hopefully have a lot of puff caps. See, keep that going. Got to make sure we can keep blockers in play. Silent as death. The weak don't deserve mercy. Something for all. I think my best option is drawing claws of the dragon. Yeah, we really need to draw claws of the dragon. Mm. Nah, sides of the dragon, wrong one. Well, that one still kind of works. I can still play that and health potion. But I just have, I have two blockers, and that oh, I'm going to be taking one too much damage. So close. You cannot escape. It's too late for you. So close. Taking 12 and I'm at 11. Could have just survived here. Yeah, that, that casino deck's really fun. It can do it can do some really crazy stuff and it, it it's just designed to level up Twisted Fate as fast as possible and leveled up Twisted Fate is super powerful. Daring Poro is our biggest nemesis. Well, I'll just keep this keep this hand. Looks just fine. I think Freljord Ionia can kill a turn one team though, so we can just play that on turn one. not the worst place to be though whenever you're you're playing and, and you're just like okay there's a card I can't beat and someone's like okay what card what card's that you know that's probably oh I don't know you know some, some card that's really powerful right like no it's daring Poro can't beat daring Poro ooh darn I would have just let them have my Eye of the Dragon. Cards, whatever. Obviously, we can't let them have Teemo. Oh, 
silent as death. But I have the dragon. I would have been like, fine, you can have that. Maybe I wait on Teemo until we can have leveled up Teemo and hit them with leveled up Teemo. Especially with the Rhymefang Wolf in play. Could go Lee Sin to kill the Rhymefang Wolf, but I'm just going to go with Mushroom Route. Because we, we wouldn't have, like, we'd only be able to play one spell for the Challenger. We wouldn't have another spell for Barrier to protect Lee Sin against any of, like, the Freljord's many pump abilities. What if Shadow Assassin was a 4 mana 2 3? It would be more playable than it is now. Yeah, I think it'd be more playable as a 4 mana 2 3. I think that would be a better card. Just like you showed me, Lulu. Lulu. So they got Daring Poro. At least that's 2 mana Daring Poro at least. Force is meaningless without skill. A pleasure to see you, Master. Right, so we're going to be able to give the Lee Sin a barrier, blocking with the two Mushroom Clouds, and put in a surprise Claws of the Dragon. That doesn't seem right. Just give Lulu lifesteal? The enemy quivers with fear. Ah. Alright, three four Lulu. Too late for you. I'll see this through. I will not hold back. Clear your head. Let your instinct speak. So I'm losing three things. That's fine, I'll take that. Oh, never mind. I forgot about that whole Rhymping Wolf kills it. Never mind, I won't take that. Never mind. Much worse, much worse. How am I stopping Lulu Rhymping Wolf? I guess I'm not. Ugh. Guess I'm not. If this Teemo hits them and they get 15 puff caps, that's just not that many puff caps. I'm gonna try to give them some more puff caps with uh, Jump Womp and stuff like that before I play this Teemo and hit him. Because the Teemo's kind of a one shot thing with uh, looking at these Rhyme Thing Wolves, just a one shot. And we can have Teemo Dawn and Dusk, that's good also. We're still at 20 life. Lots of life. They gotta cast that barrier spell, right? On their Lulu? I just take three damage. Keep our one one alive. Master. Okay, let's see. I got ways to find me mushrooms. I fight with my spirit, not my fists. Oh, that's a harvest right there. <laughs> Give him more puff caps. Lisa, and you leveled up. Cool. What is gained when you return malevolence? It is time. 
All right, well then I guess they're killing the Eye of the Dragon. My plan was to, to do that with the Eye of the Dragon. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. That's nice. All right. We're still fine. Uh, we're still fine. We'll take some damage here. Ooh, I love this. I can concussive palm. I'm not concussive palming at all here. We're just going to take some damage. And we're going to set up Wayfinder and Teemo this turn. I think so, C CJT? I'm not sure. Please hit. Oh, no, no, I need to cast my own Teemo first. What do I do? I need to cast my own Teemo first. No, that was dumb. It's like the first time I've ever done that. Always been good about that. All right, that was bad. I messed that up. That's probably going to cost me. I mean, that could be another 112 puff caps. That sounds like a necessary number of puff caps to have. Skill and grace to tear your breath away. No, so I was, basically I was a little worried with Dawn and Dusk. We'll we'll try Dawn and Dusk later, I guess. But a little worried with Dawn and Dusk of. You know, we've seen so many frostbite spells. Like I tried to dawn and dusk like one of the ones they fro they frostbite whatever I target, and then I just get like the zero uh, power copies kind of thing. I just didn't feel like I needed to go for that dawn and dusk yet. But. Yeah, I kind of want to just make sure that we're getting hit in. Not sure exactly why the 2-2 two -two is challenging the 2-3. Unless they want me to just keep something in play. Like, not sure why those aren't challenging the opposites. Because they want me to keep the body in play. They haven't played anything for me to deny. Nothing's been... Like, everything's been... Burst. Six puff gaps. Swiftly, they'll never know what hit him. I'll scout ahead. But I probably should just be casting the Dawn and Dust just for because we're playing a meme tier deck. Probably should just be playing it, but all right, four hundred and twelve. Ooh, that's pretty good. Pretty good. I can rebounce Teemo. All right, eight puff caps. I'm, I'm predicting they're going to draw nine. That's my prediction. Nine. Nineteen. <laughs> Nineteen. Victory was the mushrooms we planted along the way. Well, close. All right, so if our opponent did not play the uh, Daring Poro card, then we did well. Had some predictions for 10 and 17. Yeah, that was, that was, that was close. 19 puff caps. Close to, like, 
complete lethal, right? Because if you get if you get twenty or more, then it would be lethal at any time. Um, so yeah, I didn't I didn't play that one completely optimally there at the end. Uh, I needed to play my third Teemo first before the Wayfinder. I really regret that, but we still still got there. Still got um, nineteen of puff caps that last to draw. <laughs> And that's what our deck. That's what our deck is all about: using Kinku Wayfinder, get lots of Teemos in play, and double up those amounts. Um, I was really impressed with Retreat being really good defense for Teemo, and of course, Key Guardian did pretty good with Teemo. Um, Lisa worked out well being a challenger to be able to challenge the elusive and help Teemo get through whenever um, we had Lisa, and we did that multiple times, so that that really helped out. And yeah, Deny was a good protection spell. So just a, another awesome uh, Teemo deck. We never missed our Wayfinder. We hit the Allegiance every time. So that's good. Um, and yeah, yeah, Recall is good as a one-cost spell too. There was a couple of times we didn't really need the Recall, didn't play it, but then other times we did. Other times we got to like get Shadow Assassin and play for one mana. And that's always good. Um, so a fun one to play here. Just uh, <laughs> try to dodge those daring Poros. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments. Anything about this deck? What do you want to see change in the upcoming patch tomorrow? Um, or anything else? But thank you so much for watching some Teemo Wayfinder. And I'll see you for the next video.